Hey everyone, so in this video we're going to create a steam effect in Blender using geometry nodes and the shader editor. So to start off, let's create our plane. And in the geometry nodes tab, I'm going to create a new modifier, geometry nodes. And we're going to start off with a, adding a curved line. And let's see how this looks. This is going to be our curve. Maybe let's increase the Z so it make it longer. So next we have to add in a set curve radius and Turn it into a mesh. And check our field caps. And then for the profile, we're going to use a quadrilateral. Okay, and then we're going to the radius. So now that we have a rectangle, we're going to make this 2D, so we're going to make the height to 0. And then we also want to have the, the top to be small and the bottom to be wide. So we can do that with, by adding a spline parameter node by creating to the factor, to the radius. Now... This is the opposite of what we want. So to fix this, we can add in a low curve. Let's switch the points here to the other side. And we have the other way. And then we also want some more geometry for this curve. This is only one point. So let's add in a Resample curve. Let's make this uh, 100. And we can also change shape and size in the middle. We can have a smoother fall off. All right, so let's add the material to our uh, mesh. Let's create a new material here in the material properties on Steam, and let's open a new window here and go to the shader editor, Steam, alright, so we're going to delete the principal BSDF, and we're going to use noise texture and the color ramp, let's see what this looks like. Okay, and now we have to also add in the same material in the geometry node so we know what material we're going to be using. So let's use this as a material. All right, so now we see here we have a noise texture. All right, so now we want to use the UV maps for our texture. And to get the coordinates for that, we need to get the coordinates of this curved line and the quadrilateral for the mesh. So to do that, we have to add an attribute node here called Steam. Connect that to the vector. Now this disappeared, but we have to get the capture here. Let's add in a coordinate vector, change this to 2D vector base corner, the same name. And then we're going to get the X and Y from using combined X, Y, Z. Connect this, and we need the X and the Y. So to do that, we need a after attribute node, 
with this curve and this mesh. And we just need to have the factor of the spline parameter for each. And this one goes to the X and this one goes to the Y. All right, so now we have our texture using the X and Y coordinates. And we can use a bit of mass here and try to multiply it to scale it. Change all these to one. We can scale it. Get longer. Right. All right, next thing we want to do is try to make this transparent. Let's add in a vision shader. Transparent and a mix shader. So transparent mission. And we fold this into the factor. And we have to set the render mode to blend it. Okay, so now that we have this, let's make our settings here. Scale this down a bit. Around there is good. We can also add in another vector math node. That's an add if you want to move it, move the texture on the X or Y, like this, X direction, Y direction. Okay, so now that we have one trail, we want to make more trails to have a steam effect. So from our geometry nodes, let's create duplicates here. And then we have to create also the wave effect. So let's start out with the wave effect. So we have to add in a that position node and a few math nodes. So first off, combine X, Y, Z. And then the math node, we're going to use a sign. Then to X. Going to get the separate XYZ and also a subtract node. The direction, and then we're going to use the position of our curve as the vector. Now we have this wave effect, but right, that's using it. As a sine curve, if you increase this, it is flowing just like a sine curve. Now you can add in a multiply node. Here and multiply. How many waves you want? All right, good. So next, we want to increase the amount that we have to make it more look like steam. Now that we have our one rail, so now we're going to make instances. So let's add an instance on points. Connect that to the instance. 
And then to use as our points, let's use a curve, I mean a cube. All right, so we have four points in our cube. And let's use the distribute on faces node. Distribute on faces. Let's decrease it so we have more, not that many points. Okay, and let's increase x value to around 5. Now we also want to have randomness in the size of these trails. So let's add in a random value for the scale. Uh, let's make it not that small. Right, so now we have this. Okay. Now this is too thin. Let's make a uh, width larger on our profile here. Okay. Alright, so now that we have that, now our sine wave is not working because it's when we move this, it moves the whole thing instead. And this is because they're instances and they're all the instances are acting as one. So to fix this, we have to realize the instances. I didn't realize node. And that would fix it. Now it becomes a mesh. And then the other thing we want to do is we want to have each instance be affected by a different type of sine wave. So to do that, we can capture the attributes of the instance. So I'll change this to instance of each instance and then add in a random value for each instance. Alright, and then we can have another multiply node here and add it here. Now we increase this. Now each instances have a different type of value for the multiply. All right, so let's fix the height of the steam a little bit since this is too low. Increase the curve line a little higher. A little bit shorter and then not so much. All right, times point two is good. From a five here, six. All right, so one thing I have to correct is that this should be a subtract node instead. All right, so that way looks a little bit better. All right, so now we have our steam wave. And then if we want to make this a little bit look a little bit better, we can add in another color ramp here. Add it to be spline.
Right. And we have more. It's been looking three hours. All right, that's all. That's it for this effect. Hope it was helpful for you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one.